Yeah. Yeah, it's almost ready, mate. Here comes the drop. Hey guys, welcome to EDM Tips. So today I'm gonna to be producing something in a progressive house, big room EDM type style, like Alesso, like Swedish House Mafia, all of that stuff, because I've got loads of requests from you guys. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a bit out of date, but it's still a really popular sound, apparently. So this is gonna be completely no cuts at all. Uh, yeah, no edits at all, so let's do it. I'm gonna work as quickly as possible. I've got two cameras on the go. What you need for this big room EDM progressive house is kick, bass, chords, claps, toms, melody, big fat melody, vocals, and lasers. And yes, I'm gonna be using the samples from the EDM Tips Creative Toolkit, and then everything else is just gonna be using Ableton Live 10 uh, stock plugins, so you can follow along in any door, because these do still apply these techniques. Right, let's do it. Big Room EDM, Progressive House style, what should we call it? Mm. First, we are going to call it Progressive House, Big Room EDM, we are going to call it Alesso. Alesso, you got a better idea. And that's what's happening, because I've already named it. You're gonna have to deal with that. Right, let's do it. BPM, 128. I'm gonna start with vocals today, actually, and these are vocals I got some, from Splice. Um, so I'm just gonna drag them in quickly. Let's find out where they might be. Uh, Let's just drag them in. And you can start with the chords, but I know that these vocals are recorded in the key of E major because Splice told me that when I downloaded them. So let's color those purple and have a quick listen to them. Put the metronome on so we can hear what a guan. Okay. Suitably progressive house, a lesser e. So this will be the chorus. This will be the big fat hook. So first thing I'm gonna do once I've brought those in is, first I'm gonna equalize them out in terms of volume, because I think the chorus is a bit quieter than the verse. So what I'll do is just double click on the clip Bump it up a couple of dB, because we kind of want the vocal in the chorus to be even bigger. Next, I'm going to work out the chords. So I'm going to use one of the Vital presets. Vital's a free synth, and I'm going to use one of the presets from the EDM Tips Creative Toolkit. So let's just drag that in, and we're going to work out these chords. If you're using Ableton 11, you can use their scale feature, but I'm going to use this I just do this manually because I know most of you guys won't have 11 yet. Let's go for a pad. And I don't even have a keyboard, so I'm gonna have to do it. Yeah, a nice gated wub 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 sound. So let's just bring that down a bit. Work out the chords. And again, you can draw in every note in the key of E major. In fact, the easiest way to do this, if you're not using Ableton 11, in which case you could use this little um, thing here, there's a scale button, but just draw in all the white notes from C up to C, and that's C major. If you just grab them all and nudge them up till the first one is an E, now that's E major, easy peasy. So let's just duplicate those up. And I know some of you guys see this every week, but you know, it's tough luck really, isn't it? because some people don't have Ableton Live 11 yet. Press fold, and now we've got three octaves of E major. So let's just nudge those over to the side. That's my template technique. All that it takes. And let's just use this as a template, draw in some notes. All that it takes is one not to break In me now catch your fall So that's the root of the track. I'm just missing a note each time and now we've got an E major and we're going to hold this chord. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the same technique. Um, 
I'll just copy those all over again. So we can use this template on the baseline, put them aside, and now we can draw in the baseline. Let me just quickly draw in those chords again. So let's draw in a bass line that works perfectly in with those chords. And we've got so much to get through, guys. I've got my magic list here, and I will work as fast as possible. So for the bass line, let's just get a really simple operator synth so we can get some sub bass in there. Oh, hello. What's that? Sorry, you'd like a banger? Yeah, sure thing. Will do. Right, let's get those notes in there. I think I will copy these template notes down another octave because it's a bass line, so obviously we want to be working in the lower octaves. So just grab them, just nudge them down a few octaves and press fold again. All that it takes is one not to break And then I'll catch a fall So it's really easy to All that it takes is That sounds better All that it takes is one not to break so you can see I've just been using the template um, and then it's going to work perfectly. It's going to knock it down. Now we need a massive melody that everyone's absolutely going to lose their sheet of four. So let's create another MIDI channel. We're going to create some layers for this melody. So first thing to do is, well, again, you can use that template technique. I'm just going to kind of do it because I can do music anyway. But if you're not so hot on music theory, then you can use that template technique. Um, but I'm just going to do it by ear. So what I'm going to do is grab an analog synth. Just make a nice, simple um, saw wave sound to start off this and then just kind of work it out with the metronome on. something super epic. So people actually weep. People actually weep with absolute sheer ecstasy. You know, it's simple, so people can sing along when they're with their mates at Tomorrowland or wherever, um, but then we're going to switch it up slightly on the second time that melody plays through to resolve the sequence. Oh, actually, just switch things up a bit. That's probably a bit complicated, that bit, unnecessarily so. Oh, 
That will be the, um, the end of the sequence because that's the switch up. Okay, so let's now uh, go into the routing on the um, analog synth. So we can switch one out to the left, one out to the right, because we need the routing so each oscillator goes to its own amp amplifier. And don't worry if this is a bit complex, um, just kind of watch this slowly and repeat it. And you'll, you'll get it over time. Or join my masterclass. In fact, that's going to happen. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. So that's what's going to happen the second time that whole melody plays through. That dun dun dun. take some time but I wanted to show you the whole process so I'm not just yeah I want to show it from start to finish on this idea cool so let's layer up that melody I'm just going to duplicate it and I'm going to choose um, a vital. And again, we're going to use another one of the Creative Toolkit patches. You can uh, check out the EDM Tips Creative Toolkit below this video as well. I'll put a link there. So let's get a lead. A nice epic EDM lead. Probably something about like that. And let's group those melodies together so we can control everything at the group level. Okay, all a bit loud, so let's take that down a bit. Cool, okay, let's get one more uh, layer in there. We're gonna, again, we'll use another vital preset and again you can get vital for free i'll put the link below this so i'm going to go in and find another one of these leads that's cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that down an octave just so we're not getting too many layers in the same frequency range That sounds pretty epic. And I'm gonna throw a low pass, sorry, a high pass filter on the group because I don't want to have loads of low end in that um, melody. Because that's what the bass is gonna be doing. Right, let's stop with this tick, tick, tick. Let's just get a kick on the go, baby. Give me that kick. Give me a hell yeah if you're enjoying this, guys. This is live and direct from, I think we might be in a hot Mediterranean country at the moment, which means why am I wearing this jumper? Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to be doing the kick in audio today uh, rather than MIDI. So let's get that on the go. Choose one of the kicks from the creative toolkit. Nice, nice and clean, nice and crisp, nice and Alesso E. Alesso E got a better idea. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, mum. Right, let's duplicate this. Kick, 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 and get some sidechain compression in there. So for the sidechain compression, yes, you could use something like Nicky Romero's Kickstart or Steve Duda's LFO tool, but in the spirit of using mostly Ableton plugins, I've created this MIDI chain trigger. Sorry, this uh, sidechain trigger. Sends only, so you can never actually hear it but you can use it to trigger sidechain compressors. So let's duplicate this bass as well. We call this a sub bass. And then we've got a nice clean sine wave. And then we're gonna make a 
kind of mid-range bass for this. So what I'm going to do is, I think I might, and I know it's a bit cheeky, but you can get Vital for free, so whatever. Um, I'm, no, 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 actually, I'm going to use the wavetable. Yeah, just to make things a bit different. It'll be a really simple sound, actually. It's just ma mainly going to be a saw wave. And what we're going to do is absolutely F this shiz up by throwing on an amp and we want it really mid-rangey. That's the idea of this bass. Actually, I'll, I'll use another analog because then I can do the same thing I did before and pan them left and right, pan the oscillators left and right. And you can hear that nice analog warmth. And once we've now factored in the low end from the sine wave, we've got a nice thick rich bass, like a gravy, but audio wise. Right, we'll group those together like this. Bass in a place, London. And we are gonna throw a compressor on there. Normal Ableton compressor, open up the side chain here, whack in my side chain channel, and now we can make it pump. With the kick. Cool, so that's how kick and bass. Let's put that on the um, chords as well. But maybe less so. That's a big sound in this big progressive house EDM sound, is that really pumping side chain. over the melody as well. So you can hear it coming together. Let's add some um, whole reverb to that melody. on an auxiliary channel, just so we can take out some of the low end. And I'm gonna add the side chain compression there as well. Right, cool. So we're kind of getting there. You can already hear it coming together. So let's get the vocals on there. Uh, and also we're going to add all the other drum sounds to get that groove really going. I'm going to, I'm going to add a massive reverb for the vocals as well. Um, especially for the chorus because then it's going to differentiate it between the verse and the chorus. So let's, I'm getting excited now, I'm enjoying this tune. Um, so 100% wet because it's on the, on the old auxiliary. Uh, and then let's whack up the... What I'm also going to do is add a delay for the vocal. So let's call that Vox Delay. 
And again, same thing. I just want to add something on the auxiliary channel, probably just for the chorus to make it even epicer. So dotted notes, probably one four. Uh, that might be a bit much and it's fine, we can tone it down, we might even need to add some side shake compression on the auxiliary. Cool, so let's get this drop on the go. For the break, we are just going to have, let's colour these. For the break, we are just going to have the sub bass. And no side chain. Let's do some arrangement now. In fact, we might add some, we could add a seventh or yeah we could add a seventh to those chords too just to make it even more of a heart melter gotta love those heart melters leave a comment guys if you're enjoying this and even if you're not let me know i like to know yes that's all we're having baby that's all we're having Okay, let's get this show on the road. So what we're gonna do is do a little bit of arrangement now. We're gonna have the build up and the break. Then we're gonna have the drop, which will come in here. Um, I don't think we're gonna have, I will use audio for the drums as well, because I usually use the drum rack, but let's use all audio today. So first we're gonna have a clap to go really big. Let's get everything we need for the drop. So that's sub bass, mid bass, no vocals, and an epic melody. I think the full lower layer of the melody will only come in on the drop. Like this is when it's gonna be going, oh, this is gonna be epic. Epic. Right, so let's get those claps on the go. Again, gonna to go to the EDM Tips Creative Toolkit. Go to claps. Cool, and let's just drag them on. And we just want that high-end energy, like fist pumping, banging this. On every kick. and a little switch up on the rhythm. Doosh, doosh, which I think would sound good with the tom as well. Yeah, so hopefully you can kind of hear that. So the drums are doing this. But let's get a tom as well. So we'll go. Percussion. That's pretty cool. So just stick them there. Just at the end, just to give it a bit more of a impact. Cut it down there so it doesn't interfere with our next kick. Yeah, 
and that's it. Also, we want a symbol on there because it's going to be, yeah, all guns blazing on the drop. Maybe that one. Let's see. What is that sound going on outside? Stop making sound. I'm making sound today. Right. But what we're going to do is we're going to add some sidechain compression to that cymbal crash as well. I'm going to group all the drums together, command G, just so we've got more control and we can just solo it and hear them on their own. With the clap, I'm going to add some room reverb, which I've created on the auxiliary channel. Just to make it bigger. We can add some onto the crash as well, maybe turn it down a bit. And with the bass. In fact, I've got a cool idea. What I'm going to do is use the um, live Max for Live. And if you don't have it, don't worry. This is just a kind of bonus idea, if you will. But if we go there, there's this cool effect that is called. And my co-coach from the eight week masterclass actually showed me this a couple of years ago. And it's just this cool pitch drop effect um, that you can activate to have it sound like a record drop like this. You'll hear it more easily on the chords. So it's like a pitch bend. You could do that manually, but it's just really quick to just go. Just activate it and then turn it off and just have that every eight bars, say, like so. It just adds extra interest. And I'm going to add it to the chords as well. So then it's like this. Whoops, let's repeat the chords into the drop. So it just gives it that record drop effect. I'm going to take up the low end of the chords. Just to click, make sure the mix is clean. And we can add that drop on the melody as well, just so everything sounds like the same thing's happening. Cool, so what we're going to do is add one more layer of drums on there, maybe another clap, but I won't yet. We'll just see if it's needed, uh, because we've got to do the lasers. You need lasers. Everyone knows you need lasers, so let's do some lasers. All that it takes is one night to break, and they now catch I'm also going to take the bass down in the drop, oh, sorry, in the break just so there's more impact on the drop. So just simple volume control. OK, 
Okay, for the melody, I'm going to gel them all together with the compressor. That before the uh, before the pump compression, just to to get them all sounding like they're in one place. So if we listen to this melody, I'll just call this pump compressor so we can give it a bit more. Uh, yeah, so we know what's going on. So I'm just compressing all those layers together to make them sound even bigger. But this is what we're going to do in the build. In the build, baby. So, uh, let's see. Filter, which I will put before the pump compressor, just because I put everything before the pump compressor. And this is what we're going to do. So that's that's kind of what we're doing, and we need to increase the. Oh, I'm getting excited now. Increase the tension in between the build and the drop. So what we're going to do is first add some lasers, which I'm going to do like this. I'm just going to do this in a sampler, actually. So I'm going to use Ableton Sampler rather than the Simpler, because I can change the pitch bend range to be more than just the default, which is what you need to do this. Um, and let's just find a random sample. Uh, synth. Anything will do, really. I like using samples for this because it kind of gives it a bit more character. You can do different things with samples. Uh, that'll do. But we just want the one note rather than that pitch bendy bit at the beginning. Okay. So I'm just going to repeat the root note of the track. Here it's I'm doing it at a B, and that's because this sample wasn't actually sampled on a C, uh, a middle C. But I'm just doing it by ear, so it's on the same root note as, as the track. Just repeating it. So what we're going to do is first adjust the um, ADSR controls. Just a bit of decay. Uh, play with the pitch envelope to make it a bit more lasery. And then get uh, a pitch bend on there. So I'm going to click that, go to envelopes, and then MIDI clip pitch bend. And now we can have it pitch bend up. Like so, to the top of the drop. And if you want to add some interest to that, as well you should, this is what you can do. You can add a delay on there, get a ping pong, and we're just going to add more kind of, yeah, more wet from dry to wet as the build goes on. Like so. Too quiet though. And let's just have one voice. Don't need any more. We could even grab them all and put it up an octave, might sound better.
So this, that's what we're doing. We're going to cut out a few things just before the drop as well. And we're also going to take out the low end of some of the elements. And we're just going to do that with a bit of automation. So on the melody. So let's get the big snare build up and then we're pretty much done. I mean, yeah, we'll do a riser um, and that's, that's kind of that. Uh, and then we'll build it out a bit more into the arrangement. In fact, we'll just have that seventh chord come in the second time through. To have something to build into. Yeah, so we need a clap in there as well, on the build. Just copy and paste that. And we'll get a secondary clap, because it's all about building that interest in the ear candy as well. So. Creative Toolkit, there's claps. And let's put one on every other beat of that clap. go just in between every other clap like so and then we have a big like drop just before the drop um, so, snare, let's get the snare on the go. I'm going to do snares in a sampler as well, and that's so we can add some pitch bend nice and easily. So let's go claps, let's go snares. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, straight away. What a great sample pack this is, eh? Wow, I must get my hands on this today. It's amazing. So, <laughs> right, um, where are we? Snares. Okay, cool. It's kind of a clap snare. So let's program that in. And then we're just going to double those up. And then one more double them up just before the end. And now let's get some pitch bend on this bad boy. So hit there, hit like and subscribe. And then get that pitch bend on the go. And this is why um, having the sample is good because you can then put a whole octave pitch bend. Like so. So let's do that.
Yeah. Yeah, it's almost ready, mate. Here comes the drop. Yeah, you'll take three. Good lad. Let's get this rocking. Uh, yeah, okay, yes, yes. So this, so this is what hap what's happening. Yeah, that's epic. So just before those extra bits come in, you could take the kicks out. Oh, wow. I'm getting excited now. Right. Let's just get that drop in there, like some cool incidental drop sound to let you know it's coming. Uh, so we can go to, again, I think percussion. Let's just repeat that four times first. That we want something higher. Like that. But we're going to tune this to the track. Actually, that's fine. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you as well. Yes, some reverse snares, some reverse claps. Yes. So let's just get that Tom in there quickly. Just work as fast as I can for you guys. I really hope you've enjoyed today. Boom, boom. Yes. Ooh. Well, you could have a bass drop as well. Ooh. So let's see if we can just do that quickly. Oh, white, right. yeah. That's a nice sound as well, actually, from the sample pack. That would be a good layer in the melody. So let's just duplicate the melody. Um, and I'm going to use a sampler. Or just a simpler. I can see that that sample is sampled in A, so I'll need to change that slightly so it's tuned. A. That is an epic melody. Okay, where was I? Bass drop, that's right. Ooh. just do the reverse um, clap and then I'm gonna do a tiny bit more work when I've got fresh ears, up upload this for you to download.
upload this for you to download. Um, and then, yeah, it's completely free. Just click that download link below. So this is what we're going to do for the reverse claps. Again, I'm going to go to the Creative Toolkit, um, choose a clap. That'll do. And then this is what we're going to do. I'm going to press R to reverse it. And again, you don't need to be using Ableton to be able to follow along, guys. Just like that. That's all we're... Just to add some extra interest. So I'm just going to copy that in every bar. Just a nice little ear candy tweak there in the drums, having that reverse clap. And let's get that bass drop. I don't like to do things by half. Oh yeah, and the riser. Riser, riser, riser. Effects, downlifters, uplifters. Let's put this one in. And there you have it guys, that is an epic progressive EDM room track in the kind of style of Alesso, the Swedish House Mafia, Steve Angelo, Axwell, you know, those fellas. Hope you enjoyed this, don't forget to download the file, uh, all the samples presets below. If you dig it, please share it with your friends, and until next time, have a great weekend or weekday, depending on when you're watching this. Cheers and happy producing. <laughs>